Yeah, uh, and you know, I've been watering uh, because uh, you know Mother Nature hasn't been doing it for me. No. Yeah, it's uh, it's crispy out there. It is. It is. Everybody's getting dry. The ground. I mean, there's cracks. You know, the size of. You know, I mean, just crazy how big they've gotten. Fall into them, in, yeah. In parts of North Texas because of how dry things have gotten. And that's, you know, keep the fire danger elevated as well. So as we're heading into that holiday weekend, I just, you know, would urge everybody to continue to practice that fire safety because um, things are dry and, you know, it's a good weekend for the barbecues and grilling and all that and yeah. just, you know, be very, very careful. All it takes any, is one little ember. With any flames and uh, open sparks as well. I do want to uh, touch on uh, the hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico at the moment. This is Idalia at the moment, or Idalia, Idalia, Idalia. Heard it both names. Pete said it both names. I've said it both names. I, I think, <laughs> I think technically it's Idalia. I think, I think, although I've heard. Plenty of uh, those in high places say it both ways as well. So there you go. Uh, it's off of the coast of Tampa right now, off the coast of Florida right now, and it has intensified into a Category 2 storm with wind speeds of 100 miles an hour, just shy of 200 miles off the coast of uh, Tampa. Tampa will not take a direct hit from this storm. Areas to the north of there will. It will continue to intensify Category 3 storm, making landfall north of Cedar Key sometime uh, tomorrow morning, probably around seven, eight, nine o'clock tomorrow morning. So the you know center part of the storm will pass well north of Tampa, but Tampa's still going to get a good amount of heavy rain, some gusty winds and storm surge as well. Still potentially a hurricane in southern Georgia, a tropical storm over Charleston moves over to the Carolinas before moving back out into the open Atlantic toward the end of the week. But the storm surge will be quite high for coastal Florida, especially closer to where the center of the storm will make landfall, maybe 10 to 15 feet Tampa area four to seven feet of storm surge, lesser storm surge the farther south you go. Lots of heavy rain headed to parts of Florida as well. Six to ten inches kind of right along the path of the storm, but even most of Florida going to pick up four to six inches, maybe two to four inches. So uh, coastal flooding from the storm surge, inland flooding potentially from the rainfall. Here locally, 94, or excuse me, 97 in Fort Worth right now, 97 also in Dallas outside. Uh, that heat dome's kind of moved back off to the west. That's what's allowed us to drop below 100 degrees, but it will be moving back as we head into the holiday weekend here. There you go. By Friday, it's kind of back close by. It'll be around through the weekend, maybe moving off to the east as we head into next week a little bit, but I still think our highs will be at or above 100 degrees next week. It just may open the door for some of those showers and storms to return. I'm not promising anything widespread or soaking, but there might be a few days next week where we could see a little rain out there tonight. Just light winds and pleasant 75 for the low and then tomorrow hot, dry and breezy and air quality alert tomorrow. 98 will be your high tomorrow afternoon. The next 14 days look like this triple digits for the Labor Day weekend. Not record heat, but above 100 degrees next week does bring some low in rain chances. Maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but those temperatures still stay at or above 100.